I'm Rory Sullivan with Radius Off-Road. This is Motosport.com's Driven to Ride, brought to you by Yamaha. That was so good! <laughs> <laughs> Rory Sullivan, off-road expert, is taking us on an off-road ride up here. Ryan almost killed us on the way to the lodge. Zero chance. <laughs> it's a fun couple of days. How many beers are we drinking tonight? I feel like I'm in a resort. Welcome, everybody, to the Pulp MX Show, presented by Motorsport.com. We are coming to you live from deep in the woods in Idaho. We are in a, a beautiful shop slash garage here at Gold Creek Lodge. And uh, thanks to the Motorsport guys for bringing us up here. Uh, thank you to Gold Creek Lodge and Yamaha as well. Stepped up for some bikes and everything else, Blue Crew. Appreciate that. Looking forward to uh, talking about uh, why we're here. But first, uh, let me introduce our special guests. It's Jake Weimer. What's up, buddy? How are you? We're back. We're back. Uh, also here, of course, uh, uh, riding up with us, and uh, he is a multi-time Supercross Motocross champion. Where's my volume at? That's Ryan Villapoto. What's up, RV? How there are you? Go. Thanks to the Motorsport.com, guys. They have a very popular Driven to Ride series. Perhaps you guys have seen it. We, we are the subject of the next Driven to Ride video. Rory Sullivan. He is an Enduro Cross guy. He's done a bunch of off-road stuff. He is the, uh, he is the teacher. And I guess he's gonna show me how to ride enduro cross. I think we all are. Hold on, are we doing enduro cross? We're doing enduro cross. What? The one that we passed? Yeah. yeah I I figured that was the training session. We're doing that. <laughs> and we, I brought Talon up. Yeah. He, uh, he is a real off roader. So off-roader. is he better than you? Yeah. He, we went riding. Oh. Right so you're ride. nervous. Well, I, he, he's probably better than both of you. So I'm not, I'm, he's not my gauge. He's an off-road champion. And like, look, I, I'll be honest. You're not looking forward to this. No. He's worried. He's, no. he's totally worried. worried. No. He's totally no. worried. He's worried. He's nervous. Here's he's where nervous. I'm coming from. So there's no doubt that you two guys are better on a dirt bike than I am. Okay? Like Supercross, Motocross champions. There's no doubt. But Endurocross is a totally different animal. Hold what on. if I'm better? What? <laughs> Again, what if I'm better than you two? Like, we don't know. Probably not. Like, probably not. You two are very you good. You have better players. chances to go into your local casino and go to the roulette table to win big on that one. We don't know. We'll see. And you know what? It'll be great. Maybe Rory, the teacher, maybe he show me a few things, and I'm better at it. Maybe I'm a natural. Maybe I'm gifted. So let me ask you, are you, a little, are you a little nervous that you're riding a 252 stroke versus a 450? Ooh, last time I had one of those. <laughs> Ooh, last time. He says, O2 when I worked for Nick Way. And how'd it go? Oh, well, I mean, good. I mean, I grew up on two strokes, right? I didn't grow okay. up on 450. Okay, so strokes. he just said it. People, he just said it. He grew up on two strokes. Well, every title that you've won was on a two stroke, right? Thank you. I didn't want <laughs> right, to say that. Right, yeah, thank yeah, you. Right. Manitoba title. So, Manitoba, we, we, right? We, yeah, four of them. Look, look, again, I'm not saying I'm going to be better than you guys, but what if? What if? If you're and, better than me, I, will, I won't say a word, and I just f- <laughs> give you my wallet, phone, keys, <laughs> all of it. Really? I mean, oh, it's on the record, everybody. What do I have to? I mean, if he's really better than us, I'm not going to give you my keys or my wallet, <laughs> okay. but uh, but I would laugh. Uh, thank you, thank you. Well, Rory Sullivan, off-road expert, is taking us on an off-road ride up here, and I don't know exactly where he's taking us or what we're doing, but I know if it goes sideways, I'm blaming him. Yeah, we're going to go up and then we're going to come back down. We're gonna go up the mountain and then come back down. That's yeah. that's about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
what I find in general is people overuse their clutch. There is a disengaged and engaged, right? People tend to pull it in too far and the wheel will stop moving, then they let it back out and they spin. What we want to do right now is start our bikes up, put it in gear, and figure out when the clutch actually engages, when it bites. And then I like to hold my brake and let the engine die. I'm going to hold my brake, clutch comes in, the bike goes into gear, put my left foot down, hold the rear brake. Give it a little throttle so I can listen to the sound of the engine. Here I just bogged down. Right there is where this clutch started to grab. Now I'm going to let it out until it dies. That is the usable throw of this clutch. When I'm riding, not coming to a stop, I don't need to move it any more than that. Have you guys seen Graham Jarvis or those top, top level hardened drill riders? They've mastered the throttle and clutch. So let's try that real quick. Sir, can you teach us what Justin Barsha does? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, all right, okay. Because you're talking like this much movement. It's, yeah. it's tiny, yeah. Think about that as we come up this trail. It's a little more fast and flowy, but if you come into a technical spot, don't pull that clutch in too far. What's, yeah, what's funny is, I mean, that's what we do, right? We're on the starting line for a race. Yeah, you, you're loading that clutch yeah. and you're finding that spot. It's yeah. the same thing in like a techie section. So when we get to the enduro cross sections or some some logs and your bike's slowing down, we need to keep it in that loaded bite zone, or else we're gonna just tip over and stall it. All right, Steve. Now let's go look for the hardest trail and test it. Bring it. I mean, honestly, out here. We are all equal. Okay. Who do you think is performing the best right now out of us three? Me. You think? <laughs> yep. And I think okay. also my gear looks the best, too. There's I zero can't. chance your gear no, looks the too. best. No, my is tight, and my skills are good, and right now, it's early, but, but I'm like, leading. But it's like tight, T-I-G-H-T. <laughs> it's T-I-T-E. So, -E. <laughs> so what I think we, what we should do is we should uh, we should start heading up this trail. We'll eventually hit another road, and then we're going to reevaluate how everybody's doing, and we're going to re-rate this whole structure, and we'll we'll see okay. if it's maintaining, right? Fair I agree enough. right now. Steve, Fair I agree enough. right now. You're in the lead. Thank you, Rory. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely attitude-wise. Thank you, Rory. I love Rory. I'll go last. <laughs> Jumps out of right. like, like, like you're gone, and then just f I get mauled. They're just sitting and waiting. Like, I, I, I hope, hope the big guy stays. I hope the fat guy's last. <laughs> Jake Weimer and Ryan Villapoto when they were racing pro, they turned pro, and I first started covering them as media guys. Uh, Weimer was always really super cool and nice. RV was a bit of an uh, but a funny I started hanging out with Steve. I, I met him just through racing and he was the media guy. And You know, we didn't come really close or, you know, close uh, until later in my career. Somewhere along the line, like I was around the Kawasaki truck a lot with, with RV. I really got to know him. I did a couple features on him for Racer X magazine. I would have other media guys tell me like, oh, dude, what's wrong with RV? He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't, it's really quiet. And I'd be like, I don't know, man. He just tried to punch me in the balls five minutes ago. Like he's funny. You know, we, we tend we tend to always kind of get on, even though it was dry sense of humor or, you know, pulling each other's, you know, chain a lot. And then Weimer, Jake has always been really, really cool, nice guy. A guy that is really intellectual and thinks about the sport. And I mean, he was a Supercross champion, Motocross the Nations champion. He never got caught up into like being a Motocross superstar. Well, I think Steve's contributed to the sport. There's no doubt if you just look at it for what it is, just with Pulp MX and he brings a different flair to the media side of it. You know, he's maybe not always politically correct, but he'll, you know, kind of call what he sees. I think that in our sport, people want to hear real. For the fans, it's more of a behind the scenes type feel to it. And I, I think that definitely adds a nice flair to what he's doing. You know, going on the show all the time, it's it's fun. It keeps me somewhat relevant, you know, and, and it's always a really good time to go up and do in-studio stuff there. I was excited when I finally locked it in that they were coming because I knew it would just be epic talking, epic stories, and so far it's uh, it's all matched up. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
back now. Oh, I'm good. Right here, we have a few feet that you can get the tires rolling, okay? Maybe you can back up and redirect a little bit. Right through here, try to go to your feet as soon as possible, and you're gonna lower your center of gravity, okay? So you're gonna squat into the bike, open your knees up, and that lets that bike move without moving you, okay? I'm gonna walk the line really quick. Right through here, okay? Stay in this gut here, and then you veer this way, and then out. Okay. <laughs> once, you, once you turn here, I want you to stand up. Stand up, stand up. Up. And maybe I need to get into off, like, off-roading more, you know? Like. As he came across this little Mud mm -hmm. hole. As you see, my boots are not filled. He uh, he jumped it, hit, and then caught air again and changed lines in the air. And it's like I don't know how to rate it, but it definitely he's not to you yet. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, tight. No, I see. Oh. Bounced it. That had to be. But you splashed food. in the water. I'm not yeah, and I went it. over the water to the dry spot on the right on the on the right, and then bounced over the mud. Kept my boots clean. I don't, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was like he levitated or something. Uh, right. Yeah, well, just wait. How many beers are we yes, drinking how many tonight? Beers. I want to see you drunk. I. Okay, sure. I need to perform tomorrow. I'm not a okay, veteran no, no, like you. At you. least, <laughs> we're going to do at least six beers for you. Huh? All right. What are some of the things each of you felt kind of stood out kind of on this warm-up loop? I liked it all. It was all fun. Um, it's not something that I do a lot of. Switchbacks were not great. I'm bad on those on an e-bike, too. So we now it transfers over to, to a dirt bike. What is it? specifically with the switchback that catches you. Yeah. Well, I think what you have to have the feeling of being committed and you can do it. Yeah. But when you're hesitant, that's when you screw up. I did have a crash out there. Jeez. But that's what happens when you push the limits, Yeah, Rory. When you were given it 175%. Thank you. You know what I, what I think I heard you say earlier is that Jake and Ryan were like somewhere down around like, like it was like 62. Yeah. Well, we don't have to try that hard to ride with you. Because I was catching you. You were. I was catching you when I went down. Okay. So we digress. I, I said at the beginning of the day, I looked the best. Okay. You said. I feel the you best. Said that you you did the say best. that. And then my lead on the day was sort of. It, it just kept going. It yeah. kept growing. Do, does but Ryan move up the board a little bit? Because apparently I wasn't there to witness it, but he did like a pivot turn. I didn't see that. Or something. Okay. It was right in front of you. Yeah, dog. I didn't see it. We choose to see what we want to see. That was actually pretty impressive because you did get out of hand. We see what we want. Ryan, how was it for you? Uh, it was good. It was a lot of fun. You know, it's cool to be able to ride a bunch of different terrain and, and then go from, you know, sun to full forest. I enjoyed all of it. So like we talked about, I don't like that it's 200 feet down. Did, did you try what I suggest about looking down the trail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like still your peripherals. Or out there. Correct. So I don't like heights or what, but I just, maybe it's just because my head knows it's 500 feet down off of one side. I like how it went from 200 to 500. Yeah. But like, I, well, but it's probably, well, it's more than 200 feet. I mean, you're going to roll down the hill and grab a hold that's of That's what I'm saying. Tree. I'm fine. I mean, it's, it's, not it's like okay. I'm Some of our fears are unrealistic, but that's fine. That, it's not a fear. <laughs> you had a water crossing pop up on you all of a sudden. Well, I was yeah, you were yelling at my helmet. Helmet. Yeah, you were screaming in the, in the hill. I was hauling ass. And, <laughs> Come through and like, oh, the water. <laughs> it's uh, on these trails, right? You're coming up, and if you're not looking far enough ahead, you get called out on your on your bullshit really fast. Yeah. Because it's like right. you're r running wide, but if you're looking ahead properly, you can talk, move. Right now, I'm in the lead. Yeah. No, you're not. We have to find some way to quantify these magical points that mm -hmm. we're accumulating. Yeah, no, they're all up here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got him. You're, got you're him. keeping oh, track, track of all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. him. Okay. He keeps just yeah. adding one. I'm going to get, one right now I'm gonna get your, yeah. your phone, your keys, and your wallet. We'll see what happens before we progress to a foot plant, a pivot on a, on a log. We'll see how that works for the three of you. <laughs> Focus on you, okay? As you come up to this, you want to kind of load the front end and loft. If you can just try to get your wheel a little bit light hit here, the bike's gonna bounce over no problem. Let's get you some more points on the board so you can smoke these fools. <laughs> did, did, did Jake hit these? <laughs> How's that progression? Oh, I stalled it. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. okay, all right. I just want to make sure that, you know. We're playing ball. We're all doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, yep. First of all, I only atta I attack these like I attack life wide open. Okay, so I'll be right here. You're gonna let off and brake, and then reapply the throttle right there. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Squeeze that bike. <laughs> that first one was the first one. Was I, great. The third one was my favorite. <laughs> Steve, your line choice is terrible too, though. <laughs> Steve hasn't been doing too bad. You know, we were able to get over some logs today. You know, for somebody like him that's really never rode anything like that. You know, it's, it's even for me like you know, it's definitely intimidating. Oh, that last one was good. I thought Steve did awesome, and I, and honestly, like I've I've ridden with Steve before on a moto track, and so I'm not shocked. I thought he did great. Hey, watch this come in. Okay. And it was cool having Rory here. Ryan and myself have ridden motorcycles since we were four years old. Our lives were revolved around trying to go fast, so it was fun to get kind of get to do some things that I've never done. And if I wouldn't have been here, I probably would have done them. So. like to see now is we're going to take it to this log down here we're going to put our foot on the log same motion we're going to add a couple little techniques and we're going to do a pivot over the log and i think that would be a really good kind of putting the pieces together right on you steve <laughs> you lost a few points just so you know okay all right fair enough i had a big lead <laughs> Yeah, Rory's been uh, awesome. You know, me and Jake, we want to hit things like I want to hit things with some with speed because I have, you know, that's my balance comes in with speed and and you know all the little techniques that you you know Rory's talking about or showing us. It's like his clutch control, throttle control, his RPMs. You know, like we're always a, we're a lot higher, we're more aggressive on the throttle, the clutch. So you know, it's been, his the coaching has been great. You know, definitely um, you know been able to help you know even you know me out. Uh, Rory Sullivan has been awesome to help us out. I'm not, I'm again, I'm a motocross guy. I grew up motocross. I wasn't a trails guy. I didn't do a lot of off-road riding. Uh, this is certainly different, a little out of my element for me. I'm back on a two-stroke. I haven't been on two strokes since 2002. So Steve, that's that's it, 100%. You just gotta stand up. You gotta stand if you up, stand yeah. up, you, you have it. So we did some, you know, decent stuff today. We'll see what we get into tomorrow. You know, hopefully drag Steve through some more uh, Stuff that's a little tougher, see how he fares.
Rory said that I was up by seven. Yeah, Rory said that. Not on the Oh, and then Duro Cross. Duro Cross. Hung the wheel every time on the logs. It doesn't matter. I didn't feel like I was getting you like this on the no, 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 that is not true. That is fake news. No, it's not. You. No, it I might admit there was one, sketchy, but it looks not sketchy. one run, one log jump that was sketchy. No. Oh, I wouldn't say that. My bike control outside of one log was impeccable. Jake was falling over on the log twice in a row yeah. because I stalled it. The log was getting slick, oh. so I could feel it spinning. So I was trying to like back her down. Okay. Did you feel like you had a different log than us two who were not no, stalling it? Same log. Yeah. Same log. Right? I, I mean, <laughs> these guys have had enough accolades. <laughs> I think Steve is clearly in the lead. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What a coach. He must be really going to take you on some tough today because he's trying to get the no, confidence of no, no, he knows. I mean, if we're being honest, correct, the expectation no. was that they would be fine and they would... No, he was thinking he was good at Well, uh, maybe not Steve's expectation. I assume, Yeah. right? The uh, the final crash count of the day, two. Yes. One. Yeah. Zero. Dude, there's no question you are an elite athlete. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. You did uh, tell me on the way out of that little area over the helmet. I think I pulled my pec muscle. No, neck, neck. <laughs> Jake had such a bad day yesterday. He's leaving. He's he's taking off. He might not ever ride again. I was yeah. just disgusted with your enduro cross performance. I'm like, I, I don't need to stick around oh, for oh, this. Okay. Now, what bike are you riding? I rode the Yamaha 250 four stroke. The four stroke FX. Right. FX, FX, yeah. FX. That'll work for me. I'll do that. Oh, it was awesome. I, it was great, actually. And so, you are you have a 250 Supercross title. That's regional. We're replacing you with a guy who has a national championship. I, so we're kind of stepping up. I'm sad to see you go. Yeah. Happy to have Chuck on board. Yeah. No, I wish I could stick around because, I mean, you're welcome that I'm leaving or else it wouldn't have rained. So yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, right. It wasn't great to have you yelling about, Steve's down, Steve's down. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't great in my ear. <laughs> we got some rain last night. We all know yesterday was super dusty. We needed it. It's already soaked in. Other than some tree roots, there, you're gonna love that <laughs> wet tree roots. But uh, other than that, it's just tacky good dirt right now. Pray for rain, and we got it. Water and woods not so awesome with dirt bike tires. So. Um, that's cool though because it's ma it makes it a bit more uh, technical, you know. And the dirt stuff is is fun, but you know, taking myself and trying to go up something that's full of roots, still it's tough for a moto ride. Today with the rain, a little okay. tougher. So right here, Steve, drop your right foot over. Angles help. Get those eyes up. Look at that. Actually, I got you in a pickle. Here, this will be fun. I'll help you out of there. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, f my life. Yeah, There you go. Let's do one more thing. You don't have to do it, Steve, okay? I just want to show Ryan this one little spot, and then we're riding. Steve, are you right behind me? We're gonna go left here. Oh, probably want to should have went slower. Yeah. We got talent coming through the water. Me too. RV, go slow. That's the way I should have done it. F you, RV. That's way off. Yeah.
Yeah, we we fucked it up, that one. Jeez. And we're soaked. You guys are soaked. Yeah, because we're idiots. Don't have, yeah. We we don't have creek crossing creek crossings in Vegas. Rory was going faster, faster. <laughs> you tap out though, you forfeit all your points. But you're already behind, so. I'm not behind. Uh, I'm probably behind. Let's go for it. single track here Ryan so what's gonna happen is see all the water on the leaves you're gonna get you're gonna get wet all the different sceneries out here from trees to the high ground. So far it's been awesome. I'm looking for a little more technical stuff for Steve. You're crashing it, Steve. Yeah, it was really good, it was really fun. Uh, I'd probably be better on it on an e-bike, uh, specifically an intense taser. Uh, hashtag intensebicycles.com. Uh, I wish Jake was here. A lot of side hill, which Jake wouldn't like. Eyes forward as much as possible and you won't fight the edge of the trail, okay? But everything else has been epic today. Really fun time and great dirt. Shift down. Uh, Coach Rory helped me up that rock face and I didn't die. So we're Did good. Did not die. Yeah. I'm off to a great start. All right, so Steve, eyes forward. Eye on the prize, okay? You're gonna roll right up and I'm gonna point right to where I want you to put your tire, okay? Pick your line, carry some momentum, but if you're not looking where you wanna go, you won't go there, okay? Absolutely crushed it. Where's Harvey? He's... He's gone. He's at the top. Dude, I'm f***ing soaked. I know. Um, I got it in my goggles a little bit, so now they just want to fog. Was Steve struggling? He made it up that bench like pretty easy, that little the rock, rock bench? Yeah. I'm legitimately impressed. Yeah. Nice work, Steve. No, for, for real. The for the coaching. No, that, that was really good. I mean, like, I've watched a lot of people like f up on that whole section. We did a nice little loop, good dirt. I think everybody had fun. Steve, did you have fun? Rory son? I had fun. That was really good. The trail you rode, what do you think? It's good, fun. It was the right amount of challenge and uh, at times tough and really fun and fun to conquer it, right? Like fun to do it. So Steve, let's talk about this really quick. I, I wanted to call him a redhead, but he's not anymore. No, no, he's not a redhead. Trendsetter. Red beard. That's, yeah, that's a red beard. McGrath called, he wants his hairstyle back from 98. Chuck, what, what did you think? Oh, it's always Same. fun to ride, you know, show people what we're doing out here at Gold. I was, honestly, I expected a little less, you know. <laughs> but uh, you always want more, right? And, and the legend, I, know, I just can't, I'm not good at talking, and I thought he did well. Yeah, over exceeded expectations. Well, thanks to my coach, Rory Son. I know later on you will have me wax on and wax off your van, but you were a lot of help. Uh, clearing that rock ledge was easy but I wouldn't have been able to do it as easy without your help. Uh, and it was fun to have Ryan crash once. One time. I love to see that. Near the end. Yeah. That was good. It's okay. You surprised me. You were good. I just looked at you like a moto guy, right? Yeah. I hate to give him credit too, because he's right here. But I know. He was good. Uh, well, poor Jake. Yesterday was fun. Yesterday was good. Nothing wrong with it. But today was, yesterday was cheese pizza. 
It's okay. I like cheese pizza. What was today? Today was like... Flam mignon? No, today was like pepperoni and sausage. Oh. Pizza. Oh. So much better. So much more preferable. But honestly, he wanted to drag this down. Yeah, it? yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't like the side hills. No, he doesn't like, like side hills. And also, maybe, you know, it wouldn't have rained as nice if Jake was still here. Like, maybe... Maybe so, I don't know. Mother Nature was rewarding Jake for leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. F*** you, Jake. The FXs were made for Gold Creek Trails. We will definitely be catching some trout. <laughs> We're gonna catch some trout, that sounds amazing. <laughs> That's probably number one. Yeah, Cardos are pretty cool, man. That's super sweet to hear everybody. I wish I didn't hear so much Villapoto in my ear because he seems to be laughing a lot at me. But... That's a wrap, boys. Here we are, Gold Creek Lodge. If you're a rider interested in connecting with a coach or becoming a coach, visit MotorcycleCoaching.org.